Welcome to the SVG TV News for Friday, January 30th. I'm Callum Cato with the details. Prime Minister and Minister of Finance Dr. Ralph Gonzalez has described the health sector in this country as being reasonably well sourced. He said in Parliament that with a 70% increase since the 2001 estimates, this country is doing well despite con the constraints. Given the small size of our nation's economy and population and fiscal constraints, the health sector is reasonably well resourced. Indeed, between 2001 and 2015, nominal and real expenditure on health has increased appreciably. In the 2015 budget, $89.93 million is estimated in total recurrent and capital spending for health, an increase of $37.17 million, or 70% over the 201 estimates. There's a good story to tell, and I'm telling it. The Prime Minister reiterated the need for Vincentians to adopt healthier lifestyles. The principal causes of morbidity in St. Vincent and Grenadines are diabetes and hypertension, cancer and cardiac ailments, accidents and criminal violence. It is thus evident that most of the health challenges are behavioral, manifesting themselves in our eating and drinking and so-called modern lifestyles, our driving on the roads and unsafe working environments, and violent misconduct. Policy implications arise from these factual observations, particularly in respect of encouraging or facilitating healthier behavioral lifestyles. And in more health news, national epidemiologist in the Ministry of Health, Wellness and the Environment, Dr. Rosamond Adams, assures Vincentians that there is no need for panic after it was confirmed that there is a case of malaria here. In an interview with SVG TV News earlier, Dr. Adams highlighted that malaria is a disease which, can, which has been around for a number of years, further stating that the public can be comfortable in knowing that the ministry has done everything in their power to manage this case. There is really no cause for alarm where malaria is concerned. We, we don't have lots of um, malaria infections. Uh, however, because of increased migration from African countries, from Asian countries, and even from South America, then we, there, there is the possibility of people coming um, with, with malaria. With regards to the female Nigerian student who was confirmed with the disease, Dr. Adams has advised that she was treated and has returned to her normal routine. The patient has since been seen, treated and um, discharged and is attending classes um, now. What happened in the case of this, um, of this patient, we did initially, when the patient presented to the emergency room, initially we did in-house uh, microscopy, which is observing the cells, especially the red blood cells, where the malaria um, will affect, and had signs that she had a parasitic um, infection from, the, from malaria. The two types of, um, of the plasmodium species, which is the Vivax and the Oval, um, where infected patients have recovered from the first episode of the illness, but there have been what is called malarial relapse. Meanwhile, Dr. Adams is confident, has confidently stated that the ministry is well prepared for dealing with these issues, highlighting that their vector control program is still on stream. Our vector control program stepped into, um, was heightened last last year because we had the outbreak of the chikungunya virus and so extensive vector control measures were put in place the vector control measures were not only geared towards um, the elimination and the eradication of the um, Aedes aegypti mosquito that was um, was the vector that transmitted chikungunya but also mosquito overall the vector control unit they are doing inspection of properties then they are continue doing um, source reduction Dr. Adams is also making it clear that the measures in place for dealing with the chikungunya virus are the identical measures which should be used for the prevention of any mosquito-related diseases. 
Sleeping on the bed nets at, at night if you're living in areas that, that there are lots of mosquitoes. The use of repellents, the use of meshes and these things to, to prevent mosquitoes from coming into your homes, your, your windows. Um, the use of long clothing, long sleeves. And um, there are other types of um, things that people have been using such as, uh, such as bracelets on their hands that will repel, repel mosquitoes, etc. Generally, it, it, you know, we should keep our surroundings clean and prevent having areas, tires, drums, tanks um, open and exposed where mosquitoes can breed. Because once, they, once, once there are these areas that the mosquitoes can breed, then obviously they will breed in these areas. Describing themselves as a holistic ministry, the New Testament Church said that Christians must show the love of God in a substantial way. Education Director Bishop Chesley Ferdinand said that said at the recent press conference to launch the 75th anniversary of the New Testament Church in this country, that besides the Bethel Bible College, which they have been operating for years, the church provides assistance to those in need. It's not just goodwill. It is that the church recognizes its social responsibility. And we, we operate feeding programs. We, in many of our local churches, we provide meals to the elderly and, and help in ways, tangible ways. In, in many of our local churches, I know that we are fulfilling this mandate. And it's one that is, is deeply rooted and enshrined in scripture. I will not be pushed aside. Justice will be delivered to me. This is according to former brand manager of Butler's SVG Limited, Anthony Bacchus. Bacchus, who was employed by Butler's at S Butler St. Vincent between 2002 and 2006, fell down a flight of steps on the company's premises and broke his hip. He says that after a while, the company refused to pay for his therapy, and this has resulted in the need for, his, for a hip replacement surgery. Speaking to SVG TV News, Baca says that after being awarded $155,587.50 by the courts to cover the cost of his treatment, legal matters, and surgery, the lawyer who represented the company in the court case claimed that he no longer worked for the company, a claim that Baca says is untrue. Baca says that at this point his pain is increasing by the day, and he has been advised that he cannot delay his replacement surgery for much longer. During my, my time of employment at Butler Simmons Limited, I, I fell down some steps that was that's located in the old Juicy building, which, you know, uh, many people fell there before, including the previous manager that was employed by them. However, unfortunately, I got injured. I injured my hip. I'm going to fight to the end. You know, they probably think I don't have nobody behind me, but I have people behind me that's willing to support me. You know, I'm, I'm not going to stand up after all these years, uh, from 2006, 2009 to 2014, I'm let it go down the drain where I spent a whole lot of money fighting for my rights, and, and they don't respect, Mr. Ballas don't respect nobody's rights in St. Vincent. That's what it looked like to me, you understand? Because I fought for my rights, I was right, the courts made a decision, he made a decision, he accepted, and now he's going to turn and lie. You understand? I'm not going to give up. My lawyer served him the papers, and he in return is supposed to serve the BVI with the papers because he's the local lawyer here. So I don't know if it's some kind of game they're playing or some kind of plan to delay things. Meanwhile, Baca says that he firmly believes that his predicament lies at the feet of those who represented Butler's, adding that justice should always be based on integrity and honesty. The, the, the lawyer in the BVI, who is David Holocoff, and I spoke to him on the phone. Well, on my phone, you know, everybody know their smartphone, you could take conversations. You know, you could save the conversation if you want. So I, I, I spoke to Mr. Mr. Uh, Holocoff in the BVI, requested his address and so forth. And he gave me all the information. And I then asked him, is Mr. Baller still employed by y'all? He said, yeah, he's still employed. So now I am, I'm kind of confused. Even my lawyer is confused. Why would Mr. Ballas lie? You know, and it's time for me to, to, to get the money so I can take care of my, my, my hip. You know, I'm in constant pain 24 hours a day. A hip replacement, a damaged hip is no problem. You know, if I didn't have this band that God blessed me with, I couldn't work nowhere else because I can't walk too good. As mass bands prepare for the 2015 carnival season, 
Social media was abuzz with the news that one of this country's oldest mass bands has withdrawn from this year's Vinci Mass activities. The announcement came from band leader Rebecca Gonzalez, who informed her patrons of the Mirage Mass Band that of the decision via social media. The band, which has been in operations for the last 25 years, is one of the more popular bands in SVG. The announcement did not come as a shock, as rumors about a withdrawal had been circulating since last year. The announcement, however, has left many persons disappointed and hoping that the band will soon make its return to the cultural sphere. Musical talent Yafatu Poyer has released his third music video called Illusions. The Murray Village resident said that this song gives an introspective look at life and reminds persons that the best things in life are free. The song is about illusion, all the chaos, confusion that has been going on around us and sometimes with us. And certain parts of the song is like giving you solutions, you know, things that we should do to eradicate the illusion and see a clear picture of reality, you know. Yeah, like for example, telling the children them to go to school, you know, even though all the illusion is going on. And personally, I letting the public know as well, you know, Rastafari does liberate me, you know, and onto the hills I look my eyes, you know, from when she comes with my help. Filmmaker Fabian Guerra of Shadowhand Productions said he was pleased to, give a, to have been given the opportunity to assist in making the song come to life on screen. He described Yafatu as a simple but talented songer, songwriter and singer. And I'm a fan of music, you know, and when Yafatu approached me to do Illusions, I said to my here, listen to the song, and then I heard the song. He gave me a list, a CD with nine tracks, and that one really stand out to me, all right? So I was like, you know what? I like the song. People need to hear this. One of the mediums to push it out is music videos, so let me do it, you know? So a couple Fridays ago, took one day, you know, he had his ideas of what he wanted. I was like, okay, wherever you want Jaffa to, we'll do, you know? So we went to places where he's popular and people know him and that kind of thing, and we decided to shoot there. Here's a look at that new video by Yafatu. It's gonna cause confusion, yeah. 